I love coming here for the hackathon every year just because of the energy that the students give. The ideas, the, the collaboration, the, just the energy is out of this world. And I find that when I leave here on Sunday, I, I get home and, and I'm just as energized as I was all weekend. So it's kind of like a recharge for me. It's, it's really great to see everybody working together. Being a mentor is always a challenge. I, I enjoy being a mentor. How good I am at it, you'd have to ask someone else. Trying to help people think for themselves is very rewarding when you get it right. Not just giving them answers, but getting them to think through things. So, so nudging them in directions, considering things. The way that I do the, the mentoring is I sort of flutter around and listen to what they're saying and let them ask me a question. And of course they're seeking an answer and what I do is I turn it around and ask them the question to nudge them to an answer that they figure out for themselves. Being sort of a recent grad, I'm five years out, I think I've, you get a little bit of imposter syndrome still sometimes, not realizing how far you've come in just five years. So that's been really wonderful to realize, oh, I can help these people and I can answer these questions. Uh, and it's also taught me what I don't know. The wonderful thing about being a mentor really is keeping your mind open to learn back. I think the old leadership management style where this is how I've done it, so I'm telling you how to do it. That's a old, very old style. Mentoring is much more about saying, here's a problem, have you thought about this? What solution can you come up with? And then you hear back from them and you think, oh, I didn't think of that, I didn't see that solution. Here's something new for me to take away as well. So being a mentor is a real learning experience on both sides. The benefit to the mentors is, can you imagine doing anything else that you watch young people come together on, on, a, on a Friday night? Some of them don't even know each other. They meet for the first time to try to formulate an idea. And by Sunday afternoon, they've got a magnificent presentation with financial structures and marketing plans and a go-to-market strategy, all done in a PowerPoint presentation that's as good as what you see in the business world. You, you have to enjoy that. That's probably, it's like going to a great weekend movie beyond. I think every year I'm kind of surprised at just the ideas that come out of the weekend. You know, it's, it's great to see these young professionals identifying issues that, that we see and, and they don't live it every day like we do, um, and then working to come up with ideas for it. This is the first hackathon we've come to. I heard about them, say, a few, few months ago and thought I wanted to experience what was going on. And on Friday, after the first session, I would admit, I was kind of, okay, well, what have I let myself into coming to this? I'm not quite sure this was going to achieve it. But over the weekend, and by the point we're now at where the students are going to present their problems, sort of what their solutions, and I've heard some of the things they've come to, I'm so excited about everything they've managed to do. It's great, and I really, I'm now exploring how we can come to more and be more engaged with hackathons of different sorts, not just the animal health, but the agric and these kind of things because I, I think they bring so much value to, to the future of what we need to do.